Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for more Cold Warrior Indonesia. This might actually be the final, you know? Wow, we're down 14 pages. We've actually built, like, everything. Nice! Alright. So... This is still pretty wildly profitable. I guess I do need to just kind of keep building retail sectors everywhere. You know? There are 56 million people employed here, right? Each 40 employs 1.2 million. All that are fair, pen and paper. 2 million. Well, that's something. All right, so that's like 20 million at 400. Yeah, I need a full thousand here, don't I? All of that kind of work is magic. In all actuality, what happens if I just give in? Because I have held on to everything longer than 10 years, haven't I? Like, I have not actively expanded my borders in 10 years. I feel like I remember in Vanilla Vic 3 when it launched, like... This was actually bugged and was actually 100 years. And it has now been 100 years. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? I'll wait for, like, November 1st and then give in. Sure. Turmoil in Indonesia. Yeah, to be fair, I do have a lot of radical people. Yeah, like, let's get the auto save. Saving game. Mm hmm. Okay, so anything I hadn't integrated uh, was turned into a separate country, so basically just China. Which, yeah, that's still pretty fucked, but whatever. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, apparently cut down to size it doesn't just take everything you've taken more in the last ten years. But also, like, all the colonial secessionism stuff, I guess. Probably. Yeah. It's okay. Right. But yeah, that does mean we kind of have to fight. We must fight for our right to be recognized as the rightful ruler of China. Time we will liberate New Caledonia. Oh no, minus 95%. I mean, actually, that could be a bit of a problem. Like, 
Because, yeah, you do have, like, a limit to your infrastructure. Oh, yeah, look at that. You've got all those unifies. So, it looks like Egypt is now going into the Maghreb. So yeah, there's an, a, one heck of a super state there, nice. Which hasn't really formed yet. Good shit though. When the hell did you get Magna Graecia? What the goddamn? Greece, what the hell have you been up to? Eventually, be a landing of some sort. I guess it's just taking a while, because like this is ticking so slowly. Man. I really need to issue war bonds. Shit, you're fully autocratic. Noted. Maybe he's the one we need. Alright, so the fleets have arrived. Supposedly we've been upgrading these, but I don't know how long it takes them to upgrade. So we'll see. But, like, they can't win, I don't think, so it's fine. Again, you guys have apparently not engaged in any landings. Attempting to take control up. Oh, there we are, finally. Yeah. Even with minus 95%, we still crush them. Although, oof. how do you even get 89? I guess extra province capture or whatever, maybe. Sikkimese to Ake and the surrounding states. Really? Huh. That's uh, kind of a shock, actually, but okay. I figured there'd just be enough unemployment here, but... Yeah, no. but yeah, our fleet is capable of keeping them completely contested for, honestly, an incredible length of time. Yeah, and enemy fully controls Wordles, so that'll hurt them a fair bit slowly begin to lose. Alright. Now, the problem is, I am pretty sure in my statement that uh, they will eventually break through my navy. It really is one of those, no matter how much I want them not to, they will eventually get through it. Now, even if I have rapid response force. Carrier battle groups. Can I get that research in the original rate of time? No, it's all the way out there. So, that ain't happening. Yeah, he 
seem to be relatively incapable of hiring. Alright. That ought to make you hire. They will eventually break through, unfortunately. But that should be fine, generally. So there are two people that would be willing to accept. Noted. So, yeah. Because once we get under 100, I think, then we can kind of more easily make it down to 50 with the, the disarming requests. say at some point our navy will fail it's unfortunately not a matter of if but when because i simply we simply can't like recruit and build things fast enough and that's just how it works you know Fifteen point six billion GDP, though, nice. Mm -hmm. Good, keep blowing them out of the water. On the other hand, I do wonder like how the European fleets hold up, but I think they just have a lot more than I do. But then again, maybe not. We're actually kind of equal out here. Probably gonna occupy this, but that's fine. So we're gonna stop that, really. Yeah. It's funny because, like, most of the European armies have like no morale either. It seems like. Right. Yeah, I guess the European fleet is also struggling. Like, they're at half. And that French fleet's good, but... Alright, well, fair enough. Looks like uh, they got everybody but Libya, which makes for one hell of a cursed border, but ain't bad. 
I think they also might be trying for Mauritania. Like, damn, Egypt really wants into this super state game. Hilariously incapable of it, though. Uh, Arabia, United Arab Republic, there we are. They uh, finally united with uh, Libya, I guess. Nice. So, they've got all of that now. There's still only 11, though. Because, yeah, they have a population of 104 million. That's actually horrifyingly low, I want to point out. Like, that is horrifyingly low. Egypt has that much in the modern day. Although, to be fair, they probably all have starved to death, yeah. Like, since about the 2010s, I think uh, global warming kind of killed them all. You know? Yeah. Just kind of landing uncontested here. Or no, I guess they are contested, aren't they? Yeah, our armies will contest all the landings. So that's good. best you can do, huh? Alright, so I think the only way this is going to work is if I split the uh, sectors up, because I don't think we can get enough people trained to do retail. Slowly but steadily, we try and uh, get more and more people employed. Alright. That's pretty cheap. And overall, the goal is to just try and reduce the cost of general services. Minus 15% ain't bad, but like if I could do minus 25% or more, that'd be great. What's it currently look like? Wow. Yeah. There hasn't even been any attrition yet. This is all battle casualties. So. Yeah, our friggin... Wow. You guys are using stealth subs. Yeah, the West never... The West definitely kept up their military tech a lot more than everything else. Or rather, I should say I fell behind in military tech in comparison. I guess that's fair. But, I mean, even if my military's behind, we're still able to compete, so it's not a big deal. Oh shit, I'm paused. My apologies. If I could do more for intoxicants, that would also be good for our lower class. They'd love me for that. So we'll try. I mean, in general, I'm just trying to, like, employ everyone. Which is hard. Um, so unemployment increases the birth rate. 
Well, that explains at least a few things. Okay. I feel like that shouldn't be the case. I feel like, if anything, like, subsistence laborers should have, like, some fucking massive bonus to, the, to it, not unemployed people. Oh, Lord. For a lower class, they're so weak. Yeah. Everybody's sanctioning me. Feel free to keep sinking as many convoys as you want. You can't. Like, I have too many convoys and too much convoy production. Holy shit. Our uh, fleet, I think, is actually recovering, kind of. Because, like, the European one just can't keep up its pressure. So that's good. The European fleet broke first. Turn 22. Like, every so often, I seem to get, like, a spike of infamy. I really don't know why. Alright. A nice blunder. And stealth submarines. Stealth carriers. Yeah. So they haven't done any more attacks since the first one. They've just sat out there, trying to recover. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's minus 10. Move one else in France. Yeah, I can't help but notice but there is no uh, gold reserves here, right? Oh no, size French gold reserves, minus 13, okay. So yeah, they have some gold reserves then. That's not too bad. Oh hey, by Canberra legislature. So I now have a full on Senate, right? That should be entertaining. Like I guess I was slowly like democratizing. Yeah, I do not have a Senate. Uh, the Indonesian Senate and to the journal. Except not really. Mm hmm. Can't do an elected legislature. Yeah, man, banning the unions really fucked them. Like, capital really has kind of run away on us here. It's absurd. Not that's really honestly surprising, but still. Yeah, how, uh, how's the European Union's finances looking on this one, by the way? Minus 13. Minus 13, so yeah. I think they might have full gold reserves. Yeah, they can sink as many convoys as they want. I literally have so many. It doesn't matter. This is still a pretty stable government. I don't know. I don't really want 
that. Unfortunately, I need somebody who's okay with the semi-appointed legislature. I don't know. How do you feel? Unfortunately, you have too many things that I'll never actually find out. <laughs> so, no, this guy is 78. He'll probably die soon. I think his opinion on it is still greater than neutral. I think. At least I hope it is. Session in the Nile. Darfur Uprising, yeah. The UAR is struggling to put itself together for sure. And even if it has, it's still a shithole of a country. Let's be real here. I don't know, I guess they have higher GDP than me, technically. Not by much, though. Still have population growth. Yeah, like no one in this. I don't think it's really possible to have negative population growth. You know? I mean, who even supports the negative population growth policy? I don't think anyone actually does. Everyone does now, as long as I have that, but still. Alright. Mm -hmm. So many loyalists from this as well. We do have a lot. Alright. Okay. Yeah, there things are starting to set in here that I think it's over for them. You know. It's not gonna take long. zero, but I can't actually do it, unfortunately. Like, I can get minus 40 if I can get below 100, I think. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Independence. Come in, please make a diplomatic play. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Come on, though, France. We all know how this is going to end, which remarkably is in the, uh, like, European fleet being sunk. And somehow my fleet actually holding on.
So, that's good. And imagine if I had modernized my fleet before this war. Yeah, I don't know why. It might take forever to actually upgrade them or something, but... It seems strange that it hasn't happened yet. driven education, of course. Mm -hmm. A slight bit more intellectual property. Vanity against revolutionary vanity. the civil service is successfully complete. Excellent. Now, they're humanitarian. Constitutional supremacy. Uh, as much as I want to. I can't really. only nine war support. Things are getting bad for you, eh, France? Yeah, I mean, the dead and wounded are certainly piling up for them pretty badly. Jeez. They're spending so much more on it than I am. European Union should have enough ships to be beating the crap out of me, but I guess they want to try and maintain, like, raiding all across the globe on me as well, which is probably my saving grace. My incredibly global trade network that's also immune to raiding, but the AI doesn't really comprehend that it's immune to being raided. You know? Actually increasing, good. So yeah, you guys are in support. ratio. Yeah, get rid of social security. Another 10% to our workforce ratio. So many people working. Like, I don't spend all that much on welfare payments when you think about it. Now let's be real here, they're all going solely to the unemployed people here. You know? Like, presumably somewhere in here is going to be unemployed. Even if you're unemployed, you have so much education access. Yeah, you have 17 wealth. Yeah, welfare welfare keeps them that high. So like they'll sit there and they'll learn. I guess that works. Alright. Well, France is willing to make white peace. 
but yeah. ticking down over time. And surely at some point there's going to be somebody who... Hold on. Let's sort by acceptance. There and me is Pariah. Yeah, I just kind of got to wait for France to give up. Like, they just got to keep throwing men at us, I guess, until, uh, until they're done. Alright, so how's our market now? Jesus. Still need more livestock. Yeah, we still need more resources in general here. Trade route's only 32k. Only 133k. 37k. Barely, like, barely moves the needle, you know? Alright. Actually, wait. Wait, arms. Build the other kinds first. That it fills up all of the farmland. Well, on the plus side, we should have zero serfs after this, at least. Oh, wait. Finally loaded. Damn it. There we are. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 6.52 million peasants. That's not too many. Who knows? Maybe if I can actually employ a bunch of people out here, producing these resources will be all right. I don't know. Seems like I... As my standard of living increases, it gets harder and harder to deal with. Mm -hmm. Eh. Piedmont and Thurkin. So. Mongol from Indonesia. Let's see. Italian Hakka, yeah. No. 
getting there, though. We're getting these people. I still cannot believe conceptually that I am wanting to go to the anti-population growth policy. Right? So, 4.4 minimum expected, right? Yeah. From tertiary education. So, 13% is 0 0.72. Right? So that looks to be about 6.4-ish. You know? Like, sort of, standard living need. So that's not bad, actually, given that 2... Or no, it'd be 6.5. And it would go down to 2.5 from that. If I switch to the anti-population growth policy, I think. Or 1.5, maybe. I am changing it by five in total. So yeah. That would help, potentially. Mm -hmm. It also wouldn't really like affect any of the Chinese though. I guess that's part of the problem. Arab Turkish rivalry declared. Uh yeah, that tracks. I mean, the Turks are not doing well. Wow, Sarah will be three. They're a failed state. Not the first one, won't be the last. France being at negative 30 is brutal. 117. Silly France. But yeah. It is kind of a concern that might as well just go full ham. Uh, it is kind of a concern of mine that I am effectively finishing the development of like the primary industry of China already because like. This has not solved my goods problem. But to be fair, that was before, in my defense, that we suddenly had minus 80%, um, like, farm throughput. And, like, this is eventually going to cripple you guys, for sure. Yeah. Cause like you've got no intoxicants. Your fishing wharves are holding you over for now. But like, yeah, that's nearly also gonna collapse on you. So like the standard of living in Europe is really only going to go down, and there is no functional way for them to stop it, is there? Yeah, standard of living is kind of plateaued for now. Data living is also just plateaued. Although I think that's wrong. The amount of debt that standard of living was started at that. I think it's just maybe unable to tell the difference between time. Which is fine. We'll continue to sink their boats. France will surrender at some point. I can wait all day, France. Don't worry. Get these uh, primary resources developed. And just bring down the price of life in Indonesia. Alright. How are things going out here, by the way? Products factory, yeah, 18 million, good. Jeez, only 7 million? Like, why? Mm. Because the rice farms can pay, apparently. Which is fair. Alright. 
they'll get there. Sooner or later. Do they get? Do they have any modifiers for having like completed the space race? It certainly doesn't look like it. Sanction for this bit minus ten percent for me to gay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still kind of rushing through society techs. I mean, I'm kind of okay just finishing the society techs. getting cities of the future going. That would be another hard plus two door standard of living. I'm pretty sure everywhere by now has at least one level of urban center, so... Like, that is probably the save biggest, like, sort of saving grace for these people. Like this, I can get them to, you know, ten standard of living. It's time that once and for all, I claim victory over France. Then I just need to figure out how to claim victory over the North American Union. Well, the answer is Hawaii, of course, but... Fucking Hawaii is struggling. God damn. It's one of those things that just boggles my mind sometimes when I see is just like how various parts of the world are still managing to be impoverished in this fucking timeline. Honestly, so much of the world is impoverished, it's absurd. But I think it's kind of getting better, like lots of middling. Six pages left. That is not much. Why is there. Oh, yeah, because turmoil so bloody high, isn't there? Yeah. So it's really hard to build. I wish you had that tracks. I mean, theoretically, how much would it take to, like, incorporate these dates? 20 years. Yeah. I could use the cheat. Mm -hmm. There's zero authority to spend on this degree. Fair enough, I can't. I think that is kind of how it has to go, though, isn't it? I have to actually incorporate the Chinese states just so that way I can like neuter them. Although hypothetically. Hmm. Only 20 plus 25% mortality rate in non-homeland states is not enough. Like these people, while they're unemployed, breed uh, so quickly it's absurd. You know? Well, the obligation's worth more than that. Alright. Mm. 
so. I'm looking for like the least populated one. I think I kind of settled on Belize or maybe like Trinidad and Tobago. Being possibilities. 694,000 people. Yeah, Trinidad and Tobago is pretty, uh, pretty nothing. of meat gotta try and bring it down the problem is like our buy orders of meat just seem to increase so exponentially like as we buy it although to be fair that's probably also why like our crops are going down it's a substitution thing right so in general we just got to keep supplying more and more food i can't believe our fleet held off the Europeans again, like, completely this time. We have humiliated the European Union at sea. I mean, gulags, I think, are the only functional way I can stop these people. Like, goddamn. Because they'll have really high turmoil and be really angry. So, plus 75% mortality might actually do it. Okay, the European Union has uh, given up. I am pleased to announce the liberation of New Caledonia. population, right? Yeah. Alright, so in that case we need to demand the nuclear disarmament of Guyana, I believe. That would be the best one to pick. Disarmament has been refused. So yeah, we'll take uh, the slight hit for that. Because following the war...
It'd be really interesting if France and the European Union joined in again. And again, I won't last long, so it won't matter, but... This will be hilarious. Yeah, only 34 pages left to go. I can literally not build things fast enough to get these people employed. Gulags are my best shot, aren't they? At like controlling Chinese population growth. Like I switched to the anti-population growth policy, right? Yeah. Just kill some of their birth rate, and then the mortality and the gulags will maybe deal with the rest. Combined, I think it's actually possible to get them to a negative birth rate. Still minus 600k, but like the price of grain is dropping, so it's working, you know. Mm -hmm. I guess we're also going to press the tobacco down, which will be good. Strata's still biggest spending thing is on crops, so. Having some spare is not bad. I have the European Union's ready to fight. Which is pretty cute, not gonna lie. Like, they can't do anything, of course, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, like, Guiana has nothing. Because, like, they have no people, they have no universities, so they have no science, so they're a million years behind. Mm -hmm. What's 5% urbanization for Urban Center? Urbanization creates one level. Seems absurd. Oh well. It's not tempting to integrate the uh, Chinese, though. The Eleven pages. We uh, we have successfully developed the basics of the Chinese economy. Like, this is a fucking disaster, man. How? Still at 1.2 million. Can barely get enough people. Alright. That should also continue to help uh, the situation. Congratulations, Norway. Alright. So yeah, 
we're just gonna ignore the European Union. Just kind of invade Guyana. And uh, force them to give up their nukes. And they renewed our diplomatic sanctions. Or no, that's new. Fuckers? Really? Like I say, we don't actually need to worry because it's just Guyana. The support of the European Union is, for the most part, irrelevant. Yeah, we're just building retail sectors now. So we completed the construction of the primary industry. That's really bad, man. Holy shit, that's really bad. That is all the food I can get right now. Oh boy. Yeah. Which, yeah, that's kind of brutal. try and get general expenses down or general services down since they do make up 12.5% of our uh, like total pop needs that's still a good way to improve the standard of living if not for the lower people but for the upper class uh, And just let the paper go. The goal more than anything is just employing people, so you might as well. Seychelles. Uh, no. but sure. They don't even have an army. I guess that's what happens when... Oh, jeez. I need to actually get my fleet out there, don't I? Yeah, I guess the European fleet can contest. It wasn't something I considered originally. Alright, start mobilizing, I suppose. Mobilize the full extent of the army. It's already being invaded. Can I call off the invasion? No, not really. Ah, yes. Everyone else is now siding with the Seychelles against me. Russia and North America. Everyone's aimed to get me cut down to size. Which is pretty weird, but sure. And again, not really something they can do, so... It's like, Seychelles isn't far from me. Although, I guess I'll have to cut through fleets. Which is not something I'm particularly ready or accustomed to, so... Yeah, it looks like this may have been a mistake. Launching this attack, oh well. Like I say, I'm not particularly worried. I'll get through.
I hate that I can't call off a naval invasion. Or cancel? There it is. Yeah. Okay, there we are. I can. It's just a button there. Alright, yeah, we're gonna need the main fleet. Prices just can't get lower indefinitely, you know? Seriously? Brazil? And we'll cut our way through. Eventually. But this does finally give me the excuse I need uh, to fight America. Unfortunately, I may not actually be able to. Ah, uh, yes, the Russians have a direct front. I didn't even consider that. And I'm gonna assume... Oh, never mind. Subsonic fighter jets? Oh, lord. Okay, to be fair, wow, that Air Force of mine is out of date, but... might be uh, down for the count. I was really hoping I could get under Pariah before this happened. Because I figured at some point something like the entire international community coming around and kick me at, out would happen. And the answer is, yeah, I guess it probably is like a thing where like the diplomatic sanctions are like the last one to hit. And then it should really start to hit the fan if you stay above the infamy limit for that long. That's my best guess. All right, you're just going to have to defend, I guess. Good luck. Well, Seychelles is broken out. Well, Seychelles is guarded with uh, a large European fleet. The real problem is going to be potential, like, Brazilian fleets and everything else now. I'm trying to move through this node. But I guess that I do have an advantage in that they can only... The only way for them to actually pull this off is to take my capital, which is immediately in default. Mid-secession movement. They might not even be able to catch the front line. Through them. 
But yeah, so like, so long as they can't take my capital, I'm fine. Uh, looks like they also just kind of got weirdly front memed. Yeah, right. So I'm fucking at war with every great power in the world right now, which is brutal as hell, I've gotta say. My key to victory is still Guiana, though. Like, it is. Outrightly so. Taking on a lot of losses here. In this uh, aggressive attack of theirs, so. Yeah, it's in 0.4k. And then immediately it looks like the uh, Brazilians have moved in a fleet, or more Europeans have either way. So, like, we've got to break through it. of ships to prevent me from taking Guiana. Which... Yeah, I might honestly back down on this one. And make a move on to the Seychelles instead. Take Yana is a complete failure, it looks like. Oh, the Brazilian ships might not actually be anything. Eh, they're a little dated, to say the least. Dated, they're using the same shit as me. <laughs> Fair, my navy's pretty damn dated. to the HQ. Gather your shit. Raise your conscripts. Because you know it's time. seating. That's not a big surprise. Alright. We're fighting back against the Russians. Well, that's really bad. Luckily, they fucked up their landing, so that's good. Yeah, having multiple landings like this is kind of bad. Alright. Russia continues to struggle pretty heavily. They are willing to all put in, like, defenders. Come on. Control retreat. Pursuit. Oof. Yeah, and there goes the rest of the Brazilian fleet, it looks like. that. Come on, we can't possibly 
really again failed. long heal for them, I suppose. Yeah. Alright, still holding. Radical pop, so that's good. We're fighting the Americans out here? How do you only have 66 defense? Well, I guess there's also a lot of uh, Russians and Brazilians involved, and you use a lot of aircraft. Actually, ends up being very important that I'm on the offensive for to counteract the aircraft. Mobilize you and just send you to deal with this. Hey. Gonna have to hold on. Like the Seychelles will eventually make white peace, you know? They will. There will eventually be white peace of the Seychelles. And like even the European Union will be forced to back out of defending Yenna eventually. And who knows? Maybe someday. Will actually uh, cease being a pariah. Wouldn't that be nice? Good lord. I mean, we win this war and wait two years and and in two years' time, and we're there. All right. Thank you everyone for watching. It's been the longest episode ever. I'll see you all next time. Take care, folks. Have a good night.